FarmBot trough sensor is a really useful add-on to your standard FarmBot monitor. Now you may have a FarmBot monitor operating from your dam or even monitoring your pressure from your pump on top of your pump shed. Um, one of the components that uh, is most useful about the trough sensor is that it, it communicates wirelessly between uh, your farm bot and the trough that you wish to monitor. It will operate anywhere up to four or five kilometres away providing you have reasonable line of sight. So you, you know, if there is a hill between say your tank monitor and your trough that's just not going to work. But if you have reasonable line of sight it will work very effectively. So this is what the trough monitor looks like. It's got farm bot written on the side. This is a heavy duty plastic cover which is designed to withstand you know, stock licking it, you know, giving it a bump and so forth. It's fastened with a series of wing nuts to what we call your uh, trough plate. So your trough sensor plate is the next one down. It comes in three layers. So the heavy duty cover, one layer, your trough sensor plate is your second layer, and this is your mount plate. And if you have multiple mount plates, um, your trough sensor is then mobile. You can literally pick it up from one mount plate and move it to another. Again, providing you've got reasonable line of sight with your tank monitor, um, this is designed to be mobile. Inside your, your uh, trough sensor plate, you've got your hydrostatic probe, a ceramic diaphragm inside a titanium housing. That sits down through here into your trough and will monitor your water levels using the hydrostatic uh, probe there and inside the nerve center of your trough sensor we have the various circuitry you don't need to be overly concerned with any of this apart from of course the on off switch now when you switch it on you'll hear two short beeps the two short beeps indicate that it is now searching for uh, a connection with a GPS location with your farm bot tank monitor. Now once that connection is established you'll hear three short beeps and that means it's successfully connected. However if you hear a single short beep following the initial two short beeps that indicates the search has failed and it will automatically run another search and try and establish a new connection. Hopefully the next time round you'll get three short beeps establishing the connection but if you don't hear them you'll only receive another single short beep and that's probably when you need to just switch it off and make sure that your tank monitor is indeed switched on and that you do have reasonable line of sight because if you're getting a single short beep indicating no connection being found that probably means you don't have sufficient line of sight or you could be more than five kilometers from from your tank monitor but let's just assume for the time being that you have established that connection it's switched on you've put your probe in now, to fasten this to your, your trough, we've provided six holes. You can use any one of the different types of screws that we've supplied because, you know, we envisage that different customers will have different types of troughs, whether they're poly, steel, concrete and so forth, and we've supplied a range uh, to enable connection to eat any one of those. And generally speaking, once this is on a trough, it's designed to stay there so that you can simply move your, your trough sensor plate from location to location and slip it over the top of your mount plate like so. And once that's there, fasten the uh, wing nuts again and uh, make sure the probe obviously is inside your trough and keep it clear from ball valves and ensure that, troughs, uh, that your livestock can't actually access the hydrostatic probe in there because it will give you uh, uh, it will interfere with the reading of the hydrostatic probe. Now the last thing that I would mention, last two things I suppose, we, we supply an M12 uh, bolt with a nut, a 19mm nut um, and washers on each end. This is what's used to fasten each of the mount plates and the trough sensor plate to each of the troughs. So, um, that will be needed at each site. We supply it, of course, but with each mount plate you'll receive one of those. And if you have a trough configuration that requires the hydrostatic probe and cable to run down the outside of the trough, we can also supply a protective cover 
Um, but again, you need to notify us if that's something you're going to need, otherwise it just won't be supplied. Um, it's not a standard, standard item. Um, but once you have this fastened to your trough, um, speaking wirelessly, you will receive updates online at your dashboard and alerts if your water levels become critical and your stock are in danger of running out of water.